Right now, I'm so excited. Even the community are so excited. Because this young man has been terrorizing the community for the past years with the effort of police tracking him down. But we are happy today that the feat has been achieved. David Moses has been a terrorist. He's a serial killer, a kidnapper, and orphan. So it's noted for it's a notorious criminal that does not support to leave. Thank God for the police. To me, today has been a day that God has decided to make us happy because they are our brothers. Like I was here since around one o'clock till now, and uh, I saw some old men, men and children, they are celebrating. A lot of persons have been happy because they have left their community. Some of them have been suffering, but today we are happy. We are celebrating, we are really happy. We are happy that he's dead. And uh, well, according to them, they said uh, he's name is a solution and is also called um, a delicate which is his maternal home where he has been paralyzing so that's his name that's the little we don't even know him but according to the information we gathered from people and the security men that came back today they said he has been there since 2017 all this why he killed a lot of persons that up to even a pastor that he killed that that was the reason why that they were touched he killed the pastor and his family so people have been trying to feed the children, about seven children that the pastor has and other families. So today, we look at him here now. He's a very small boy by age. He's a small boy, but what he does is he doesn't allow people. According to what we hear, that, that uh, the company around and people around, when the may and other business in that environment has not been going through. But today now, I believe they'll be going back home. So people have been drinking, we are celebrating. So we thank Nigerian police. Although, sincerely speaking, a lot of us lost confidence in them after the death of Bako, but they have brought back hope and peace. So we are happy. We are very happy. We thank Nigeria police. I will thank Commissioner DC uh, this, for giving us the, the mandate again to believe. Aouda is free a little now. For the past some months now, I should say, yeah, we've been moving. We can stay outside till 12 in the night. So we are happy. I'm indeed very happy. Even if the killer was from Ahoda West local government area and he was killed in Ahoda West local government area. But we do know that cultists in Ahoda East and Ahoda West local government area, you know, uh, do things together. So that this one has been brought down today means that, you know, um, criminality will reduce in our own local government area. So I want to commend the IG, I want to commend the Commissioner of Police, and I want to commend the officers of the Nigeria Police Force for what they are doing for us in Akbar Land. Uh, we have been having a series of uh, attacks from this general, so-called general that has just been killed, General Diviki, alias Solution. Uh, he has been on the wanted list since 2016, close to about 10 years. He has been a serial killer. A lot of people have died through his hands. Nobody can fish, nobody can go to the farm because of this man. Uh, he is the kind of the king of the jungle. He comes to town in Aouda West, in Ibia, local government, an uh, Ibia clan, to be precise. The clan has been deserted, the community has been deserted. Because anybody who comes around, he kills and escapes at will. He does everything he wanted. So he has been on the wanted list of police for close to 10 years. We are so happy that today, officers of this uh, command, led by the DPO personally, went after him, lay siege, and luckily for us, he has been got. So this is the end of the era of general solution. You know, you know I've said it time and time again, that we are having wonderful cooperation from members of the public. The public are supporting us with all the information we want. We have a lot of intelligence to work with, and most importantly, the officers are dedicated. And I have to praise their tenacity. They are ready to go, they listen to instructions, and then again and again they have made attempts, and they continue because of tenacity until they get their goal. Uh, that is what we have seen here today. They have made up their mind, they will not stop until 
the target is gotten. My job is to protect lives and properties. As long as we have people who will not allow members of the community to rest, as long as we have this kind of criminals, as long as we continue to have this kind of serial killers, we will not rest. We continue to go after them. Uh, I think for the past month, the governor has come out. Uh, well meaning members of this community have come out, warning them to lay down their arms and come out. Lay down their arms and come out. If they fail to do so, the police and other security agencies will continue to go after them, one after the other. My phone number is in the public domain. They can call me directly. They can send message to me through WhatsApp. And most importantly, I've been entertaining a lot of them coming over to my office. A lot of information has been coming to us. The people have been supporting us. I want to assure them that we treat every information that comes to us on the merit it deserves. Nobody will be mentioned. We will keep our mouth shut about those who give us information. For example, the governor has promised to release the 100 million naira he promised for those who gave information on Tubaba. We know those who gave us information and very soon they will get their money. I will not be able to give you the details, but uh, officers have had a lot of intelligence on him. Attempt was made on getting general solution with Deriki. About three or four days ago, he escaped. And then um, officers kept on because of tenacity, went and then um, laid siege for him. Very early in the morning, they have been waiting for him. We knew he would come and he came out and they got him easily.